Hey Facebook, how's it going? Everybody is uh, self-quarantining, it sounds like. That's what's going on here. Um, so with all of this coronavirus stuff, this pandemic, and I'm a, um, you know, I'm a believer, I guess you could say. I think it's a serious concern, and I'm glad that state governments and organizations have been responding the way they have. Um, I was going to go to ACRAC, at least drop in for a day. My wife had a medical conference in San Diego, and we pulled out a week ago, decided we're not going to do it, not going to travel, and then it was all canceled anyway. Um, everything's getting canceled. My state association conference coming up in a month or so, actually maybe two months in May, um, canceled. My university classes that I teach Spring break has been extended by a week in preparation to allow professors to prepare their courses for online delivery. And uh, we don't know what's going to happen. We're kind of just waiting to see. So I'm probably going to be teaching at least for a while online. And so I'm seeing a lot of posts on Facebook asking, okay, my, my conference was canceled, but I still need to get my CE credits. Where What are your favorite online CE um, this is something I think about a lot. I prefer online education for many things. Um, cheaper, right? You don't have to travel. And uh, I think everybody has had the experience where they get to that renewal, that license renewal deadline, whether it's your birth month or for me, it's right after Christmas, December 31st. And I'm like, crap, I need a few more credits of online CE. Um, I've been a fan of online education in general for a while, you know, was playing around taking online courses like MOOCs, massively open online courses, before they were super popular, before um, Coursera and these other things. So anyway, I thought I would share a number of kind of my picks. I want to do a more, um, more formal video of this at some point in the near future where I do some review and share more of my thoughts. Uh, but I thought I'd just, you know, open up my web browser, a couple of bookmarks that I've got open, and share some things with you. So, what have we got here? Well, most comments of people um, asking about online CE, very common is this online, or chirocredit.com, online CE for Kairos. Um, lots of courses lot of state required courses, right? So every year there's something specific. Um, last year for me, it was professional boundaries. They've got a lot of chiropractic, they've got acupuncture, right? I've taken a course here uh, a couple years back in similar sites to this. I don't remember all the names. Um, here's another one, CCED seminars. Uh, this one looks decent. I haven't taken a course from here that I know. Um, but here's the thing with this online C, right? The, one of the courses I took was literally downloading a PDF, reading it, and then answering a couple questions. What kind of online CE is that? Like, why can't I just read a textbook? The problem with it was you had to be on the site for a certain number of time. They had to verify the, the amount of time that you spent in the course. And it was just this really weird. So like I had to open up this course in one window, but it was a PDF, which I just prefer to read either printed or on my iPad. Just a weird experience. Um, I haven't seen, for instance, the CC Ed seminars, what this looks like, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's just a lot of online text. One that I do like, I recommend RRS Education. This is Sean Thistle up in Canada. Um, he's been doing uh, research reviews for a long time. Let's see if I can get to just his home page, RRS Education. So he does research reviews. This is his main thing. So you pay a subscription and every month or a couple weeks, you know, new article comes out. He breaks it down. He gives you a lot of info about it. And he's got online CE. And it's pretty good. What I like about it is that he actually records some audio. So just preview in here so you can play some audio. 
Hello again, everybody. It's Dr. Sean Thistle from Research Review Service. Hey, not this bad, right? Um, that's kind of nice because you can at least sit back and listen. I'd love it if you could download it. I don't know that you can do that. Um, but, you know, good approach. I'll mention the ACA has a lot of CE on their website. Some free, um, others not free. I love this one for new doctors. Let's see if I can pull this one up, find that. So a whole list of courses specifically for new doctors. I've been wanting to dive into a couple of these. Uh, so that's great. Let's just look at products if I can. Some free, others you do have to pay for. Um, so I don't think they're terribly cheap. But let's look at MRI essentials. Oh, hey, this is by Dr. Jeff Langman, the evidence-based chiropractor. You can get that on his website as well. Um, but he produces good content. All right, so the ACA. Another one I've taken that I quite like is DC Online. A lot of these are taught by Dr. Bill Moreau, who everybody knows is uh, past medical director of the Olympics, the Olympic um, uh, medical facility. Just moving on, he's going to be working with Western States. But um, his course, I think he did the boundaries one that I took recently. Uh, really good. And again, he, he does do slides, but he records the audio on top of them. So that's a little more engaging. And, you know, I all of these people are great. I think their courses provide good information. Kind of calling them out because I know that it can be better, right? The state of online CE right now, and again, I want to do a whole video on this. It's pretty crappy, to be honest. Like, you sit and you read a PDF online. Why? There's systems out there that make it so easy. And here's the cool thing. Some people are doing it. They're starting to do it. Um, this is a new site called Cairo Light with Dr. Matt Skalski, the DAC bar, the radiologist down at Palmer West. And um, he's building this out. Um, I'm hoping to work together with him. I'm slowly preparing a course that I'm going to throw up here as well. Um, but a cool preview course uh, available here on FAI on femoral acetabular impingement. And here's the thing. He does really great production quality. All right. He, I mean, he's just a nerd like me. He's got his mic. He's got lights. Um, pain in our younger he imaging does his findings own illustrations of these things on both x-ray and MRI. And, and so I'm excited to see what he have um, margins, puts out margins. So if I just turn this in the future. But again, it's, it's not just reading. It's not even just watching a slide recording. He's doing well-produced video. Um, I will mention another group that is doing that is this Pro Cairo Online CE. This is brought to you by um, uh, is it Seb Gonzalez of Restoring Human Movement podcast. Um, um, Phil, oh why Phil? Why am I blanking on your name? Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, uh, Phil Snell apologize for that, um, of Fix Your Own, or my rehab exercise and Fix Your Own Back fame. Huge respect for Phil and in the rehab community, as well as uh, he does it, uh, these two do it along with um, the inimitable Ben Ramos, Flow Force Rehab down in San Diego, and maybe another couple people who have partnered with him. Anyway, this is another example of the much better produced um, online CE. So you can see here, just um, getting because. a sample of this video. They put effort into this, right? They've got the lighting, they're using high def cameras, not just the webcam like I'm doing now. Um, well prepared slides. And this is just kind of a preview course. I'm sure if we go in here and look um, at the other courses, a lot of them filmed in a um, in a gym, like really great video. Here's the thing though with Pro Cairo Online CE. They recently sent out an email saying they're, they're closing up shop. It is too hard for them to maintain the site, which I can understand. They put, they've invested a lot into this, so they're not getting the traction 
that they need, the signups that they need. And I'm at fault. I've done the preview one, but haven't purchased any. So throwing this out there, um, they're closing it at the end of March for those who are already enrolled. Um, if you guys go visit, maybe send them an email, say, hey, I'd love to take this course. Who knows? Maybe with enough interest, they could um, open it up again. I'd love to see that because it's a great example of much better online CE. Here's another one. Um, FMS has some great online CE. Now, if this qualifies for you, you'll have to check your state. I'm sure for the CCSP, uh, this would be, this would qualify. Uh, you can do the FMS and the SFMA prerequisites online. Uh, I just dropped in my shopping cart one for, um, for Indian clubs, just a 10 buck online CE. Again, whether it counts towards your CE requirements, you have to double check. But, I mean, again, super well produced. If you're watching this, I mean, like me, you have both a personal pro quality and sometimes video, we don't live make for our own to move the birthright and movement photos. hands that to us I as like a nutrient. Engaging. They've also got the, the new one called the functional capacity screen, right? This is kind of a new thing in addition to the FMS and SFMA. SFMA. This is an, also in my cart. Going to be taking this one soon, I hope. So FMS, really good. Again, maybe limited. Here is my pick for probably the best online CE that I have yet found. And this is from Australia. It's a trend I'm seeing Canada and Australia, even New Zealand are producing the best clinical stuff. This is CDI, Chiropractic Development International. And this is a company down in Australia run by Anthony Nicholson. Um, and Matthew Antonucci, I want to say. I've, I forget his partner's name, but uh, there's one of them there. I mean, this stuff is like top notch. You can take the entire series to get um, a diplomate in, is it orthopedics through the University of Bridgeport? And you can also just take individual little classes. They've got, what I love about this is the approach to it is all about case presentation. And so you're not just saying, okay, we're going to talk about orthopedics. And then you just go boom, boom, boom. No, you start off with cases and as well as these diagnostic drills. So you can jump in here, you could pick how to diagnose tension type headache. So they present a case. You have to think through it, right? They don't just, here's the signs and symptoms. No, here's the presentation. What do you think it is? Um, these are all really great. You can also do communication drills. So this is communicating to patients, but also communicating to other healthcare professionals. Um, I love what uh, Anthony Nicholson has said about communicating and marketing it's that you don't have to market yourself. You just have to do a good job and communicate it to other healthcare practitioners in an effective way. Just tell them what you found. Tell them this, the key findings of your exam and why you're providing a treatment. You don't have to justify it as long as you communicate properly. So communication drills are great. And here's what I really love um, are these clinical master classes. So they've gone out, they've interviewed experts in the field and uh, let's see, where are these interviews? Uh, it's not under, there we go. Interviews under free resources. These are free for you to check out to see the quality of their work. So they've interviewed neurologists, rheumatologists, orthopedic surgeons, Dr. James Lehman at uh, University of Bridgeport, I believe. Uh, what else? Podiatrists, radiologists, Stephen Pearl. Hey, there's a great person to listen to as well. And again, if you jump into these, um, let me find one. Some are done kind of via Skype, but others are just beautifully lit, well done in these individuals' office. I mean, look at this one. So I call these the clinical clarity interviews. Uh, being positive for HIV-27 is not, not diagnostic or, this or pathognomonic of, of ankylosing spondylitis, CD. but it is an so extra point. In highly recommend that. 
by the way, I interviewed um, Dr. Anthony Nicholson on my podcast last year, episode 52. Check it out. We go into his history. We talk about why he did CDI and um, how you can use that to get the diplomat in neuromuscular medicine is what it's now called. I think that's the previously called the diplomat in orthopedics. Um, a couple other options I'll throw out there. Again, this is going to depend on your state. But, again, massively open online courses like Coursera have university courses online. And again, many states will allow you to take a university course for credit. One of the caveats is that you usually have to get pre-approval before you take it. Um, this is something I, I think more of us should push the states to accept. So... Here's Coursera, one of the most popular online course websites, and you can explore. I mean, they've got college courses on all subjects, business, which you probably couldn't get credit for, but could be helpful for the, those business clinic owners, computer science, data science, and health. And under, let's look at basic science here. We've got some great courses. You can even earn a master's in public health and some other things online. You could review anatomy. Uh, you could do some neurology, neurobiology. Uh, check out this one, exploring your microbiome. That's pretty good. Oh, hey, speaking of coronavirus, what about fundamentals of immunology? So how this works is you can enroll for free. It's a time-limited window, but they tend to repeat very, very frequently, so a few times a year. Within those two months that it's open, you can take it for free, at the end of the course, what you can do is for a fee, 50 to 100 bucks usually is what I've seen, you can get a certificate. Um, again, for a lot of these courses, that might be an IT certificate, something that's understood to be the, the gold standard. What I'm hoping, again, with pre-approval, because this is a university course that's just put online, state boards should approve this and accept that certificate as online CE, especially if it's related to healthcare. Just let's look at just a couple other examples, nutrition. A lot of nutrition options here. Um, positive psychology, the science of exercise. And these are quite engaging. They're, they're, even though they are university courses, many of them are um, kind of redesigned specifically for online delivery, which makes a difference, right? You don't want to just listen to PowerPoint recordings. You want to actually have some interaction, and so they encourage comments. Here's a great one maybe to have your, C, uh, your CAs do. Vital signs, understanding vital signs of what the body's telling us. You know, we should be taking those. So Coursera is a great option. FutureLearn is another one that I've been taking a few courses lately. Hey, look at this. Again, they've got a whole course on coronavirus coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, let's see, March 23rd. What else do they have in healthcare and medicine? Let's take a look here. Um, many. Of, this is um, based in England, I believe, in the UK. So you get a nice accent going along with a lot of them. Food is medicine. Hey, nutrition is pretty important. Um, what else? You kind of have to browse around and find something that might be interesting. Understanding the human body, pretty cool. So again, the thing with FutureLearn, Coursera, these massively online open courses or MOOCs is you're going to have to convince your state board of giving you credit. But I want to throw it out there because I think more of us asking our state boards to accept these, then that will allow that to happen. Okay, so those are um, some of my recommendations. Again, the FMS is pretty good, but really uh, CDI is probably, again, the best Favorite. that I have found. So uh, check them out. Leave your comments down below. Oh, and by the way, would it be helpful? I've been thinking of offering this. Would you want a table of like all the online CE, the rough cost for most, the... Um, whether they are PACE approved, right? So PACE is kind of the body that accredits continuing education for chiropractors, accepted by most, but not all states and oftentimes Canada. Um, I don't know, I've been thinking about creating an ice table where I list out the 
online websites, the courses offered, potentially um, cost and all these things and whether you get credit for it. So if that's helpful, if you think that would be helpful for you, just leave a comment down below. Say, yeah, give me that comparison sheet and I will start putting that together. I've already got a lot of this collected as well. Um, leave me your comments. What's your favorite online CE? And let me know if this was helpful. Uh, it's been pretty fun to chat about this. And again, I'm passionate about online CE. I think we can do a lot better as a profession. There, There's so much out there. By the way, I'm just going to mention, put this out there. Even though this is not CE, but the best online education I've found, and I've taken a bunch of these courses, is masterclass.com. So if, you're just, if you love online ed, uh, if you're curious about so many different things, mixology, wine, lots of cooking classes, but also writing. Um, look at this, advertising and creativity, filmmaking, magic. Uh, I took one by, uh, let's see if I can find him here, by uh, Malcolm Gladwell on writing. Just, just an amazing class. This is what we should shoot for. If I won the lottery, this is what I would build for chiropractic. Um, we'll see if I can try to bootstrap that, but I know others have tried and it, it's difficult to do. So, hey, those are my thoughts. That is uh, what I think we need to shoot for. And again, CDI is the closest to Masterclass that I've seen, um, but I want to hear from you as well. So, those are my thoughts. I want to, uh, hope you share yours and uh, leave me a comment below. If you want a table comparing online courses, just say, give me that comparison. And uh, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.